Hi everybody. I would like to provide you with an additional video about candy ribbon because I got some comments both, both from you and from my quilting friends that this is a pattern they have lots of problems with and I realized that this could be the reason why we have why, uh, the reason why we have problem with this pattern is that we look at it a little bit wrong because we are used to quilting it like this so we always try to quilt this S shapes in both directions and there is a lot of things going on in this pattern I hope this color is visible let me take a look at the camera kinda and there is another way to look at this shape and I hope I can explain that to you if we take a look at our stripe you need so we have that's the stripe we want to fill with the pattern it is nice if you would divide the space into three equal areas into three equal stripes and instead of starting at the bottom try practicing by starting at one of the lines and instead of drawing or quilting S shapes start quilting drops of water like this then you would kind of go from this direction and complete this droplet here then you keep going and you complete this droplet here so you don't think about the complex S shapes only you're thinking I'm quilting droplets and this is much simpler shape to think about it and if you will use those two lines you can mark them with chalk or with a eras erasable uh, pen you can practice this much easier than with practicing S shapes and trying to keep them consistent and that's my next droplet and then I can immediately start modifying my shapes if I want to make them more narrow then I quilt my droplets much skinnier So my droplet expands from the top of my stripe to the lower third and the lower droplet goes from the bottom to the upper third and I am not quilting complicated S curves I am quilting droplets I can expand them and I can start overlapping my droplets that's the next variation but first let's just start again from this as you can see I marked already my stripe with chalk because I want this to be short video and I will not start from top like in the previous video only I will start at my line only let me let me adjust the camera So 
this time I'm starting from the upper third mark I go down I make my turn I go up make my turn and then now I will complete my droplet I will come here to this point and with that I already started my next droplet and a next one I am just quilting droplets As you can see, this is a little bit different approach. The movement, the shape is the same, only I don't think in S shapes. I'm thinking in water droplets that either point down or point up, and they are just matching, complementing each other. So if I have those two helping lines that will tell me when my droplet starts and ends, depending where it starts, I can keep my design consistent and easy and such marking can be easily done as I said before with chalk or with uh, magic marker. So try this one and let me know if it helped you with completing this pattern or learning it a little bit better, understanding it a little bit better. I hope to see you soon and that it helped you a little bit. Bye!